Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny released last week and fans have already noticed several moments from trailers and behind the scenes footage that are missing from the film. Today we're taking a look at everything we know about the deleted scenes of Indy 5. This is it. Starting with the one most viewers managed to spot right away, this deleted scene saw Indy and Helena solve an extra puzzle on the way to Archimedes' tomb. They use a staff to push a huge earth-shaped boulder off of a statue of Atlas. Then we see Indy looking at the boulder below, while Helena appears to look at an opening that had been behind the boulder. A number of people speculated that this would come after the water displacement scene, but I'm thinking it might come just before the centipedes, as that scene starts with the pair climbing up through this opening. John Bruggen of the Indie Mag asked director James Mangold about this scene. Uh, so I know you have to cut these things, so I'm curious about why it got cut. And I'm also curious about whether we'll see some of those things on a DVD release. I know Spielberg's been kind of historically reticent to show anything that wasn't in the movie, but we'd, we'd love to see some of that stuff. Um, there was a sequence in the, in the, in the tombs that there was one chamber that, that we lost. Um, and um, so you sharp eyes and you caught it. But the... Um, but I'm not sure it would really be all that much to see on its own. I'm kind of inclined to agree with Steven. It's just kind of like um, uh, things come out for a reason. It was better without it than it was with it. Like it's, it's, a movie isn't just a collection of, of pendants on a necklace. It's how each thing falls into the next. And that sequence was somehow better without that one added chamber in the tomb. And, um, and those are things you discover cutting a movie. You know, they're just kind of, it's one of the miracles of cutting as a, mo a movie is just taking one domino out sometimes affects a scene three, 30 minutes later in ways that you can't ever anticipate. That answer suggests that we will once again not be getting the deleted scenes on home media, which is a shame. I also noticed that Indy says a riddle, under the moon life lies at your feet, but this was never set up in the first place. I imagine there's a deleted bit of dialogue from the boat setting up that riddle and one about Atlas and the Earth. There were some other bits and pieces that were missing from the film. This camera angle here, the very first shot of the very first trailer we saw, was absent from the film. One of Indy's lines from the diner... Same for the goddaughter. ...was cut as well. And there are a number of lines in the trailers that were significantly different in the film. For example, in the trailer, Indy says... And I've been looking for this all my life. But in the film, he says, I've rationed this one bad. Studied it all my life. Another moment that did not appear in the film was when Oliver Richter's hawk bulldozed his way through these sailors during the parade. The film instead cuts right to the shot of him getting in the car. While filming the shot, Richter's took a tumble and was later seen on crutches so the shot itself was almost certainly abandoned. Both Harrison Ford and Oliver Richter sustained injuries during the course of this production, and I have to wonder if there were significant changes to the script because of it. Everyone was expecting a showdown between these two characters, but instead Hawk met his demise by drowning. There may have been a deleted scene of Indy and Helena walking back to the college, as photos from the set showed the two characters walking together. There may also have been a longer scene of Indy inspecting the map before slipping away from the tour at the archaeological park. We also have footage of a character pointing his sword out toward the sea, which didn't appear in the film. Another peculiar thing I noticed involves this nighttime scene where Indy and co meet Ronaldo, and Helena can be seen wearing a colorful shirt. But leaked photos from the set showed Phoebe Waller-Bridge wearing her white adventurer outfit for the scene, which she doesn't obtain until later in the film. And in these pictures, it's daytime. It had me wondering if this scene was a reshoot or if they were just blocking out the scene before a wardrobe change. We also know a bit about an alternate ending. At one point, James Mangold considered having the climactic time jump successfully send the Nazis and Indy back to 1939. The rest of the film would have seen Indy trying to foil Voller's plans, but Mangold said he threw out the idea because it just became a spy film at that point, 
and wasn't emotionally resonating. I think the ending that we got was the right choice, but the idea that the climax might have had Indy trying to save Hitler's life? It's an intriguing one. Another alternate version of the script, which preceded James Mangold's involvement, would have seen Marion have a larger role in the film. Karen Allen was disappointed by the change and lack of screen time, but at least she had that one scene. So that's all I've got for you for now. Do let me know down below if there's anything I missed, and do you think we will ever get to see deleted scenes from this movie? Thank you so much for watching, and I wish you all fortune and glory. Bye-bye now.